children in kerala have a special bond with dragon flies because they are usually the first animals they interact with so you know even i have very fond memories of chasing dragon flies as a kid the globe skimmer scientifically called the pantala flavicens it can be said to be the one of the commonest and the most abundant dragon flies in the world they have a global all an almost global distribution and they share uh, the common gene pool there was a genetic study that proved that it is a panmictic population which means they are all flying around and mating with each other but there was this one particular migratory circuit which was uh, studied in detail by the marine biologist um, charles anderson Charles Anderson was uh, based in Maldives. Maldives does not have any water fresh water body where the dragonflies can breed. Even then he saw congregations of over millions of dragonflies uh, in Maldives. That is actually what triggered his curiosity. He first observed them in 1983. Thereafter he studied them for almost a decade and they found that they actually put forward the theory that these dragonflies are migrating from the Indian subcontinent and they are flying towards Africa. Globe skimmers are actually pool breeders. They breed in temporary pools that are formed right after the monsoon rains. So there is a reason why they prefer this uh, sort of a habitat for breeding. They can avoid competition with other uh, dragonfly larvae. In such temporary pools, they don't have uh, the predation pressure from fishes. So wherever these temporary pools of water are formed, they just chase. So they are actually rain chasers. they use the uh, southwest monsoon winds to reach the indian subcontinent so they are abundant in june july months uh, especially in the northern region and with the northeast winds they come to the southern part that is kerala uh, in the month of october that is why uh, it is called tula thumbi which means tula is the uh, malayalam month in october that is when they are seen abundantly in kerala so by the middle of october they cross maldives and by november december they reach africa other groups of uh, insects uh, such as uh, the monarch butterfly uh, in uh, that migrates from the northern america to mexico cover a distance of 7000 kilometers in their migratory circuit the pantala flavicens the globe skimmer covers double the distance approximately 18000 kilometers uh, in completing the migratory circuit when they are crossing the ocean they are actually flying at altitudes of over 1000 meters you know they are just swept by the wind and they some of them re also reach central asia so the uh, the dragonflies that reach central asia will have to cross the himalayas and this has actually been recorded they have been observed to fly at altitudes of over 6300 meters which has not been recorded for any other insect Dragonflies are a very significant ecologically because they are predatory insects and feed on smaller insects that includes mosquitoes. Habitat loss and degradation these are the twin problems faced by uh, dragonflies and damselflies. They are especially threatened by water pollution because they require water, you know, fresh water to uh, complete their life cycle and the dragonfly larvae are not able to tolerate uh, water pollution beyond a certain level also they are very sensitive to the changes happening in the ecosystem with all the changes predicted to happen with the climate change this is a species that uh, depends firmly on the the monsoon winds for their travel so any change that is expected to happen because of climate change will have a direct impact on the globe skimmer <laughs>